Trump's first G7 summit gets down to work in Sicily. Image copyright writers image caption Mr. Trump, second from left, watched an Italian Air Force fly past along with the other leaders. U.S. President Donald Trump is meeting leaders of the world's other major economies at his first G7 summit, held in a cliff-top hotel in Sicily. They are discussing foreign policy and security, with the Manchester bombing casting a shadow over the meeting. A tough debate is expected on issues like trade and climate change, already raised in Brussels at talks between Mr. Trump and EU leaders on Thursday. European Council Chief Donald Tusk predicted a difficult summit. No doubt, this will be the most challenging G7 summit in years, he said as the summit got underway in Tormina, a town on the Italian island which overlooks the Mediterranean. Media playback is unsupported on your device Media caption The family photo at the G7 summit includes EU leaders. The G7 consists of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and the US, while the EU also has representatives present. It is also the first G7 summit for French President Emmanuel Macron, UK Prime Minister Theresa May and Italian Prime Minister Paolo Gentiloni. Fresh from his public dressing down of NATO leaders for not spending enough on defense, Mr. Trump is expected to be just as ready to take on his G7 counterparts, the BBC's James Landale in Sicily reports. There will be agreement on the need to do more to tackle violent extremism, and there will be serious discussion with Japan's Prime Minister about the threat from North Korea, our correspondent says. Trump avoids diplomatic disaster in Brussels NATO and Trump, what future for the Atlantic Alliance? What did Trump say about the Germans? Other G7 leaders are concerned the US president might promote a protectionist agenda. German weekly Der Spiegel quoted Mr. Trump as saying in a meeting with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker on Thursday that Germans were very bad on its car sales to the US, and vowed to stop this. Mr. Juncker later described the media reports as exaggerated, and said it was not true that the president took an aggressive approach towards Germany. Image copyright Oxfam image caption Oxfam is asking the G7 to take a lead in the fight against famine. During his election campaign Mr. Trump threatened customs duties in retaliation for Germany's trade surplus with the U.S., saying it owed vast sums of money to the U.S. and NATO. Speaking ahead of the summit, White House economic adviser Gary Cohn sought to clarify the president's position. What the president means by free and open is, we will treat you the way you treat us, meaning if you don't have barriers to trade or you don't have tariffs, we won't have tariffs, he said, quoted by Reuters. Will Trump mean the end of global trade? Is there common ground on climate change? Mr. Trump will be urged not to abandon the 2015 Paris Agreement to tackle global warming, and he will resist moves to limit protectionism in global trade. Media playback is unsupported on your device Media caption activists want to highlight issues on climate change and world famine. During his election campaign, Mr. Trump promised to leave the climate accord but he has since postponed his decision. Mr. Cohn said Mr. Trump would decide when he returned home from the summit. Can first daughter save climate accord? Paris deal is lifeline for world's poor. The summit comes just days after Monday's deadly bombing in Manchester in which 22 people, including children, were killed. Mrs. May is expected to urge world leaders to do more to combat online extremism, saying the fight against so-called Islamic State is, is moving from the battlefield to the internet. Image copyright EPA image caption Italian security forces are patrolling the venue both on land and sea. The UK government has urged technology companies to do more to remove harmful content including extremist propaganda and bomb-making guides from their networks. Mrs May is expected to lead Friday's discussion on security and counterterrorism but will cut short her visit and miss the program on Saturday. Image copyright writers image caption U.S. First Lady Melania Trump visited the Sicilian town of Catania on Friday. The nuclear and missile threat from North Korea has already been discussed at bilateral meetings. After meeting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Mr. Trump said it was very much on our minds and a big problem. At some point it will be solved, you can bet on that, he said. 
what else has happened in Trump's first foreign tour? Addressing a NATO summit in Brussels on Thursday, Mr. Trump warned that all members of the alliance should contribute more financially on defense. Media playback is unsupported on your device Media caption Trump pushes past Montenegro's PM. NATO states' contributions are voluntary and a target of spending 2% of GDP on defense is only a guideline, but the U.S. is concerned that members are not paying enough. What future for the Atlantic Alliance? European angst over Trump visit Trump avoids diplomatic disaster. The bloc later agreed that member states would report back annually on defense spending to NATO. It also said it would take a bigger role in the campaign against his militants, but France and Germany have insisted the move is mostly symbolic. The G7 summit brings Mr. Trump's first foreign tour as U.S. president to a close. Earlier in the week, he said he was more determined than ever to pursue peace in the world after meeting Pope Francis at the Vatican. Before that, he vowed to help Israelis and Palestinians achieve peace, as he ended the Middle East leg of his tour. He began his foreign trip with a two-day stop in Saudi Arabia over the weekend, urging Muslim countries to take the lead in combating radicalization.